Welcome back to another episode of Twisted Pair. My name's Damon, and today we're going to be doing a product technical highlight of the Empower 3-inch and 4-inch fascia lights. And this is actually in response to some, you know, some requests for some videos. So we're going to be talking about a handful of different things, mainly how to use this light in all the different ways. So first, let's just start with the way you can order the lights. So you can get these lights in single, dual, or tricolor, and you can order them in three inch and four inch. And additionally, we have a four inch version of this that's called the HD. That's a more squared looking version, and it doesn't have the, the black edge around it. Now for each of those sizes, or at least for the, for the fascia, what we consider the fascia, which you see right in front of you on the camera, you can order what's called a screw mount, which has two screws that hold the light to whichever surface you're bolting it to, and they go right through the edges here. You can have a quick mount, and a quick mount looks a lot like that. It's got the 3M VHB tape on the backside. And then what you've got in front of you right now is a stud mount. And I'm actually grabbing the studs uh, with my little magnetic anchors here to hold it up so we can work with it. Each of these lights have 14 patterns and we're actually getting ready to introduce a 15th pattern. But depending on which one you're using, we've got some patterns that are just going to be, you know, flashing. We have some patterns where one light's designed to run steady and a, and a second light in a pair is designed to, to flash. Just depends on what your need is. So let's jump into this and let's start talking about the different functions of the light. So first I'm going to start with the wiring. Okay. We've got five wires on a light and you've probably heard us refer to this light as a five wire light many different times. So we're going to talk about what the different wires do and let's start with black wire. So the black wire, it's ground. You probably guessed that one, but this is your ground wire. You're going to connect this to ground at any given time. So I'm going to actually go ahead and hook this one up to ground right now. Okay. Then, we have our red and our red white wires. So those are kind of like your, um, your trigger wires and they trigger different functions on the light. So if I hit the red wire, it's going to flash the different colors of this light. And if I go to the red white wire, in this case, I'm going to get a white steady override. Now, depending on your, your setup, you might want to reprogram some of these wires and that's where this white wire comes into play and the white wire allows you to program the light and do different things with it. So let's start with how to program lights. I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab this red wire, give it some power. And this white wire is multi-purposed. So the first and probably the most used purpose of it is to program the light. And to do that, you're going to basically tap or tap and hold to go and do different things with the light. So I'm going to go ahead and tap it really quick. And basically, if you look at the instruction sheet, on the uh, instructions, there's a section where it shows, you know, from zero seconds to one second, if you tap it, it's going to go forward one pattern. So now if you tap it and hold it, you're going to get visual feedback to show you when every second happens. So the, what's going to happen is I'm going to hold it now. So it's being held for at least one second, but less than two seconds. And what's going to happen is you're going to see it come on and then it's going to drop in intensity. That drop in intensity basically is my second function of programming. All right, let's go back one more. So to go forward, you're going to tap it less than a second. And to go backwards, tap and hold for more than one second, but less than two seconds. The next thing I'm going to show you is what's called color swap. So let's pay attention to which color starts. It's starting on green. Okay. So I'm going to let it start on green. And now I'm going to go to the third part of setup and programming where we're holding it for more than two seconds, but less than three. And you're going to see it goes off on that third second. Okay. And so now if I start the light, it's not starting on green now. Now it's starting on amber. So it's basically flipped those colors for me. That's really good if you've got you know, lights that are red, blue, and maybe have a white as a third function, and you want one to be red when the other one's blue. You can do that. Let's keep going. The fourth function is what's called simultaneous or alternate. And for those that are Blueprint users, this is probably best described as phase A and phase B. So the default, when I give this thing power, or in this case, I'm going to give it ground, is it turns on immediately. Okay, see how it turns on as soon as I give it that ground. So let's go to that, that next programming function where that's going to be more than three seconds, but less than four seconds. And you're going to see the feedback where it starts high 
it goes low, then it goes off, and then it's going to come on high again. So let's get this thing up and running, and let's go into program mode. Here we go. Okay, so now we've set this light to basically work as the alternate phase. So when I give this thing power, see there's a gap there now. So basically, if we had two lights that were strung together and synchronized, one light's going to go, and then this will be the second light in the sequence. All right, let's keep going. The next programming function is the function table. Now, this one has a lot to do with how the light works, and we're going to go ahead and go through it. So let's start with how does this light work by default. So you can see that this one's flashing three colors because it's a tricolor light. This is what's called function table one. I'm on the red wire and the red wire only. If I go to just the white wire or the red white wire, I get my third color in steady form. We can actually take some of these wires and double them up. So let's take this, uh, this red wire. And now we're going to take the white wire and go to power with it. So this is something different than what we've done before. And when I go to power with it, it starts flashing the first color only. If we paired it up with the, the red white wire, we're going to get another flash function. So it does different things depending on how you have the wires routed for power and stuff like that. All right. So depending on the combination of the different wires, you can get different functionality out of it. But the thing is, is right now we have basically what six or seven different combinations that we can do with these three wires but the light's actually capable of doing a lot more. So we were just looking at what's called function table one. We can actually shift the function table to like function table two. We'll go ahead and give it power again. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold the white wire to the ground again. And we're going to do this until it, it goes to past four seconds. And you're going to get the visual feedback, steady, high, low, off, high, low. And I'm letting off on that. So now it just flashed at me twice and it told me that it's on function table two. So notice now that it's only flashing color one and color two on function table two. And in order to add that third color in this case, we're going to go and take the white wire and give it power. There we go. Now we get all three colors. All right. And this, uh, the red white wire kind of overrides them all and you get a steady white function. So kind of neat what you can do with the function tables. Now, there's three different function tables built in, and then if you're using configure it, you can actually design your own function tables. We're not going to go into the configure it side of things, but that's what you can do with that. All right, to reset the light back to the way it came, at least for the pattern, to reset the pattern, we can basically hold this white wire to ground, and we're going to we're going to go and hold it until uh, we get this uh, five seconds, less than six seconds, but more than five. So you're going to see it go steady high and then low off, and then it'll do another high low off. And this is probably actually better shown if I was using a different pattern, but that's what's going to happen. It's going to go to pattern one. And the final function as of today is if you hold it down for more than six seconds, but less than seven seconds, it's going to factory reset the light to the way it was shipped to you. So let's do that. And you're going to get high, low off, high, low off, high. Okay. And now we're notice it flashed once it told us we're back on function table one. So this light is now back to the way it was when we first started this process. And you can see I'm flashing all three colors again. There is going to be an eighth function in the near future where if you hold it for more than seven seconds, but less than eight, that's going to do what's called locking the white wire. One of the main issues that upfitters run into with the white wire is how it's used as a trigger modifier. It's pretty common, especially when using function table two, to use the red wire as a primary trigger and to add the white wire in as a modifier to add flashing white. The issue comes up typically when the white wire is connected to your lighting controller when it's not being used, odds are that controller is resting that output at ground. And when it's connected to ground, it causes it to go into programming mode because we've been programming it using ground. 
So a lot of times you have to throw a diode in, like I'm showing in this diagram here. So this new function, which will basically be, you know, from seven seconds to eight seconds, is going to lock that so it only works in the positive fashion. And you'll actually be able to unlock it by just tapping it. Like, you know, we'll power this thing up and you just tap it to ground a bunch of different times. Probably going to be like, you know, five or ten times in a, in a certain amount of time frame. Uh, and what that's going to do is it'll allow you to unlock the that function so that it can go back to regular programming. Because as long as we lock up that programming function, you can sit here and hold this to ground all day long and it's no longer going to program. So that's a very nice, neat function. It's going to kind of streamline a lot of the installations and definitely remove the functionality uh, or that, that issue that a lot of uh, upfitters run into specifically with function table two. All right, let's continue along with our wires. The, the last wire we're going to talk about is the green wire. And the green wire is designed to synchronize two lights. So if we had two different lights here, say I grab another light here, we can just take these green wires and tie them together. And these lights will now synchronize as long as they're on the same pattern. They're going to synchronize, you know, either at the same time or on the alternate, you know, phase of one another. And uh, so that's, that's a nice function. But that green wire also has a second function. And that is basically what we call um, drone mode or blueprint mode. And what it does is it puts the light into a steady burn. So we're going to take that green wire and instead of tying it together with another light, we're going to take it and tie it to ground. All right. And now I get steady burn. So this is made to work with like external flashers. So if I was using blueprint, that's one example. If I was using like a, a taillight flasher and I wanted a specific sequence of my taillight flasher, I could do that. Um, it's instantly responsive to, you know, when the power is applied or, or when the ground's applied, depending on how you're flashing it. And two wires are used to determine what color is what. So right now we are on the red wire, so we're getting green. And if I go to the red white wire, I'm going to get amber. Okay. And if I tie them both together at the same time or trigger them both at the same time, I get white. All right. And that, that works pretty much across the line for um, most of the M power lineup. All right, that's all I've got for today.